Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another kids theatre vlog for you. So today we are going to the Lowry to see the Very Hungry Caterpillar show. We are sat in the stalls today, we're on row F, seats 11 to 14 and we're really looking forward to the show. The, the children love the Very Hungry Caterpillar, it's one of their favourite stories. So ever since Alice saw the poster at the Lowry she's been asking to go and we very luckily got gifted tickets for the show by the Lowry. So this these tickets have been gifted so they're very very excited they're really looking forward to it I'm looking forward to it because I'm not sure what to expect from the show I know it's supposed to have a lot of really nice puppets in it so yeah it should be a really good show and I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it just as much as the children Lawrence is coming with me but as soon as it finishes he has to rush off to work because he's in work today so we're going to the 11 o'clock showing I think there's two showings a day I think there's an 11 o'clock one and a two o'clock one I think um so we're going to the morning one so Lawrence could come with us and yeah we're going to head off in about half an hour and get the tram um, and if you've watched my blogs before we have to get two trams to get to Lowry we get one from where we are to Cornbrook and then we swap at Cornbrook to get the Media City one and that one literally stops just opposite the theatre so it's really easy to get to so yeah I'll get back to you now once we are on our way to the tram the tram is going to come any minute what time is it? It's just gone quarter to ten. I didn't want to be there for half past, but we're going to get there for half past now. station out and our tram is due any second it's 10 o'clock so we actually probably will get there for half 10 so I always think it takes longer than it does to actually get there I can see it Alice it's coming Alice, do you want to take your picture with the caterpillar picture? I do! Yeah. yeah, there's a caterpillar poster up here, so she likes having a picture taken with the poster. So, we're going to go and find the poster and have a picture, aren't we?
inside the Lowry now. It's very quiet. I think maybe nothing on in the big theatre today. Um, so I walk up to the Keys Theatre, which is the smaller theatre at the back of the Lowry, which is where the Caterpillar show is. It starts at 11. It's currently half 10, so we've got half an hour before it starts. And yeah, we're just going to walk up now. park over here and park it there Lawrence so Alice and Liam are just having a little snack before we head in the old farm is open but just having a little snack because it's still half an hour for the show Lawrence has just nipped to the cafe see if he can get something for his lunch because he's got to go straight to the after this and he's a bit hungry so he's just nipped to the cafe to see if there's anything he can get and then we're gonna head in in a minute up when Who's excited for the caterpillar show? Are you excited, Leo? Leo? Are you excited? Are you excited, Alice? Alice, you excited? Yeah. Those skips nice. So these are our tickets for today's show. I see I got in the... it there. <laughs> these are our tickets. So we're in the stores. We're on row F, seat 11 to 14. And it starts at 11. Should we get Leo a booster seat, Leo? So I'm just going to get a booster seat for Leo. Yeah, so we're just going to go find our seats now. So we're on row F. Oh, look at that stage, Alice. Wow. So we need to look for row F. Can you see the letter F? Where's the letter F? There's a letter F. So we're up here. We'll let Daddy and Leo go in first. You want to have a look? You can have a look at the stage if you want. You have a little look. Yeah. Yeah, you have a little look. Wow, look. What's that on there? We've got some books on there, haven't they? Some little books. Leo's booster seat. I don't go here. Yeah, you sit that one. Mummy, sit this one. There we go. So this is our view from our seats. So it's a nice, good view. The stage looks really nice. Are you looking forward to the show, Ali? Yeah. Yeah, are you looking forward to it, Leo? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and there's loads of leg room in these seats, so plenty of room to put your bags. Especially because we've got a big bag for these two. You excited, Leo?
So the show's finished now. Alice and Leo loved it, didn't you? Yeah. Which, what was your favourite? The caterpillar or the butterfly? Careful and the butterfly. Okay, so we're just out the auditorium now. We're just going to go and get our pram over here. That's the merch stand there. It was quite expensive, so we're not going to get anything from there. But they had a few books and some toys. We're just at the tram stop now. Aren't we waiting for our tram? Nothing! What the name? Hi, so it's been several hours since we got back from the show and I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about it. So we were kindly gifted our tickets to the Very Hungry Caterpillar show by the Lowry um, for its like press day and it was on in the Keys Theatre which is the small one of the smaller theatres at the Lowry. We were actually sat in the stalls, we were on row F. I think we're on seats 11 to 14 and the view from those seats was excellent. Um, both my kids said they could see really well. Um, if you don't know, I've got two children. I've got Leo who is three, he's very nearly four, and Alice who is five. Um, Alice doesn't like sitting on booster seats. Leo didn't mind, so he sat on the booster seat, but Alice doesn't like them. Uh, but she said she could see fine from where she was, and she did have an adult sat in front of her. Um, but I think the way the chairs are spaced out in the Lowry, you can sort of see between people. So she said she could see everything, so the view was really good. Um, there's also lots of leg room in those seats. We had like a big changing bag with us, with lots of stuff in, and that fit really easily underneath the seat and then we still had loads of leg room so yeah they're very good for leg room those seats so the show did have some merchandise available there was no programs unfortunately uh but they were selling a few books and just also selling some caterpillar toys uh they had a small one and a large one the small one was 15 pounds and the larger one was 25 pounds which i did think was a bit expensive because even though they call it a large one it was still actually quite small um, so my children didn't get one of those, um, but they were selling some of Eric Carle's books, um, mainly the ones which are featured in this show. So the Very Hungry Caterpillar book has been one of my has been one of my children's favourite books since a very since they were very very young, and as soon as they saw that there was a, a show. Uh, a stage show for it, they were super excited to go and see it. Um, my daughter had seen the poster when we'd been to another show at the Lowry and she kept asking me when can we see the Caterpillar show, can we see the Caterpillar show so she was super excited for this show um, like I said it's been one of her favourite books from being very very small so yeah she was just super excited and so was Leo he was really excited as well because again it's been one of his favourite books from being small as well so they were both really excited to come and see the show so the Very Hungry Caterpillar show was created by Jonathan Rockefeller and it uses 75 amazing puppets to bring to life four of Eric Carle's classic stories. So for the 2023 UK tour, um, as well as The Very Hungry Caterpillar, there are three other stories which the show features. Um, so for this UK tour, they also it also features Brown Bear, Brown Bear, 10 Rubber Ducks, and the very lonely firefly. Other tours may feature different stories. I know, I think a tour a few years ago had some different stories along with the caterpillar. So different tours may feature different, different stories. So as we entered the theater, the first thing that caught your eye was the stage. And you can see lots of colorful spots projected onto the white background of the stage and this reminded me of the inside cover of the very hungry caterpillar book with all the spots which i'm pretty sure which that is what it's supposed to replicate so it definitely caught your eye as soon as you entered the auditorium and just reminded you of the story so the set for this show was really simple it sort of consisted of three white boards uh, which to me sort of looked or sort of resembled 
pages from a book and they were sort of wavy so like maybe like ripped out pages of a book um, which I thought was really interesting and um, each one of those boards had like little doors on them um, which would open through, in throughout the stories and uh, characters would put, pop out through those little doors so as well as the set being all white the puppeteers were also dressed in all white so this allowed them to sort of blend into the background which made like the colourful puppets really stand out and capture the little one's attention. So the first story that we were treated to was Brown Bear, Brown Bear and in this story we meet the beautiful large bear puppet and he was really magnificent. He was I think the largest puppet that they had and he was really really nice. So in this story the brown brown bear is asked what do you see and he replies that he can see a red bird. The story then goes on asking each each animal what do they see. Um, so in this story you see quite a few different puppets. Um, these include a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep and a goldfish. So the next story was 10 rubber ducks. This is a story about 10 rubber ducks who are put into a box and put onto a boat. Um, the, the box of ducks then falls off the boat and the ducks end up in the ocean and they all get separated. And the story tells you of each little duck's journey and each duck um, meets a different uh, animal on its journey and you get to see the the puppets of all these animals so in this story you get to meet some beautiful puppets my favorite ones from this story were the flamingo and the pelican um yeah they were definitely my two favorite uh, puppets from this story so the next story was the lonely firefly uh, i haven't heard of this story before so this was a new story for me i don't think my children had heard this one either and the story tells of a lonely little firefly who is trying to find um, other fireflies and um, she, whenever she sees a light she thinks it's a firefly but it always ends up not being um, and yeah the story is the fireflies search to find her friends so in this story you meet a, a few more puppets you meet a dog, you meet a cat uh, you meet an owl and you even meet the moon in this story. So, so my favourite part of this story is um, when the puppeteers throw out retractable streamers into the audience um, to uh, depict fireworks. Uh, I thought it was really good and all, all the kids were like wow they all loved that. It was a really good part of the show. So the last story was a story that everyone was waiting for, the very hungry caterpillar story. I have to say my five year old was constantly bugging me throughout the show saying, when's the caterpillar coming on, when's the caterpillar coming on, when's the caterpillar coming on. So maybe it would be nice if at the beginning the kids could maybe see the caterpillar or feature it some way. I understand why they leave the caterpillar story to the end because obviously it's the favourite one that the kids are waiting for and they'll go home like wow um but yeah it would be nice maybe if they could just see the caterpillar at the beginning and because um, i saw i heard a few other children saying when's the caterpillar coming on when's the caterpillar coming on so maybe if you've just seen it at the beginning um they might have been able to enjoy the other stories a bit more because i think if she'd seen it at the beginning she would have relaxed more and would have watched the other stories and enjoyed them a bit more whereas she just was anxious to see the caterpillar for the rest of the show but it didn't bother my son my son was quite happy to watch the others but my daughter just wanted to see the caterpillar so if you don't know the story of the very hungry caterpillar it starts off with a little uh, egg on a leaf uh, which hatches into a little caterpillar so the show has a big leaf and shows a little egg on the leaf and they show it hatching into a little caterpillar um, the caterpillar is very hungry when it hatches out of its egg and goes on the search of food. So they have a lovely little caterpillar puppet um, 
which goes on the hunt for food and the way the caterpillar moves it moves like it looks so good the movement of this puppet it was really lovely puppet very bright and very colorful looked just like the caterpillar in the story i thought the puppet was was excellent and so yeah it goes on the hunt for food um to depict the food what they had was like large like wooden props and these props had like a little flap on it and um, to show that the caterpillar was eating through it a uh, little flap would flap up and you could see the little caterpillar through the hole um, of the food which I thought was really good and the children seemed to really like that um, so obviously the caterpillar eats all this food and then it um, gets really fat and really big so they have several different caterpillar puppets um, at different sizes to show that the caterpillar is getting bigger as it's eating all this food. It eventually eats so much food and gets so big that it is ready to go into its cocoon. And to depict the cocoon, they have sort of like a large like sack sort of bag which they put the uh, puppet into and it eventually um, turns into a beautiful butterfly. Um, so when it comes out of the sack, it is this beautiful butterfly. And the butterfly puppet for this is gorgeous. It's really big, really colourful, looks just like the one from the storybook. And all the kids were like, wow, they were really fascinated by this amazing butterfly puppet. It was very beautiful. It was a lovely puppet. So the cast for this show were all excellent. Uh, the puppeteers were really talented. They told the story beautifully. Uh, it was it sort of had a very calm feeling. They all spoke quite slowly and like softly, and yeah, it gave a really nice atmosphere. So I thought the cast were excellent. This unfortunately there was no program, so I don't know any of the names of the cast. I did search online to see if I could find the names, but I just couldn't find it. So I don't know who any of the puppeteers were but they were all absolutely excellent they were really really good so the show itself is about 50 minutes long which I think for the age range that the show is for is the perfect length I think any longer the younger children will probably start to get a bit restless um, I think the show says the age range is for age 2 to 6 which I'd say was about right um, I was worried if it might have been a little bit babyish for my older daughter who's five uh, but she seemed to really enjoy it but I do think any older than six they probably would find it maybe a little bit boring or a little bit babyish um, but yeah one to six I think is probably the right right range for this show and um, there was definitely that range of children there and the show seemed to keep them all entertained they all seemed to be fully engaged in the show um, and they all seem to really enjoy it. I would say that this is an excellent family show um, and also a good show to maybe introduce a child to theatre. Um, like I said, it is um, the age range they recommended is I think from age one or two upwards. And so yeah, the perfect show to introduce a child to the theatre. Um, it's a story that most young children know and love. And so yeah, it's the perfect like first show I think for a child. So perfect to introduce them to theatre. So I'm going to give this show four stars. Um, great little show. Um, definitely recommend it if you've got young children. The show is going to be on at the Lowry until Sunday the 16th of April. Um, I think there are two shows a day. I think there's one at 11 and one at 2. Um, I will link all the information about the show down below. Um, I'll link the, uh, the Very Hungry Caterpillars official website down below. I'll also leave a link to where you can get tickets for the Lowry shows as well. So I hope you have enjoyed this little vlog and review. Uh, if you do enjoy theatre reviews, not just of children's shows but of any shows, please do subscribe to my channel because we do lots of theatre vlogs and reviews on this channel. So if you hit subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified as soon as a new video goes up. So as I was saying, I hope you have enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon. Bye.